And we are back here in Washington, D.C. to stage what one can call the AWF's Revolutionary War as we see our first competitor coming out, Chainsaw and all the British Madman. And British And you know those Brit. They definitely do like their greatest weapons. This is the match to remember. This is the first time British Mac and Edron have met one on one. Do you understand the implications behind a match like this? Do you understand what happens when this maniac from South London, England faces the most American thing with apple pie? You lock them in the steel cage and you say, hey, go at it. This is going to be a bloodbath. Right here in Washington, D.C., the heart of America. And Grant is going to try to vanquish this British, British menace. And I, for one, I've got the popcorn. You see me right now. I've got the popcorn. I got the throat on the left. I just mentioned, I just opened my M&M's wrapper right now. They give, they give, they give you, who, 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 who authorized you to have an M&M's at high commentary? Maybe I'm, I'm, whoever, whoever, whichever catering member gave you M&M's at my commentary table, I'm firing them. Can I not I'm have fire my them. snacks in peace while we watch the American Menace and this British bastard battle it out? They're both bastards, but God damn it, they're the bastards putting on a show for us. The well, you already get first. has never been more relevant than it is right now. Well, you heard it here first. Brandon Elo, ally of the working class. I just see Angron come out here. And that, that Spartan like gear, the American flag plastered on the helmet. You know, I had, I had a talk with Angron backstage. He told me that helmet means a lot to him. It symbolizes a warrior spirit, it symbolizes being strong, having fortitude. And that is what Angron is as, as a man. You never see him go down without a fight. We saw him take down the undisputed champ. He was going into that match, the underdog, but he still came out on top because that is the American way. Angron and underdog aren't two words that make sense. Well, 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 well uh, Mamba Ant has, a, has an entirely uh, different set of tricks up his sleeve. The Ang Angron is a very much the typical American uh, superstar in that he's fat, stupid, and doesn't know where he's where he's putting his body. He has the time. Whoa. Very classic. You, 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 you talk about... You talk about... Wait, wait. Go. You talk about being fat. That's just a lot of muscle. That's just a lot of abdominal muscle around that that frame of his, you know? I'm, I, I, I'm sure his mother would agree with you. I'm sure his mother would agree with you. Well, I've met his mother. She's a, she's a very nice lady. She's a very, you know, very American lady. Oh, are you, are you, 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 are you having illicit relations with any... Whoa, 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 hey now, I call it right down the middle, you know, I call it right down the middle. We just got back on TV, guys, shit. You might show, we can say whatever you want on that show. We just got back on TV, come on now, shit now, we just had to, we just got one TV, look at these guys, go. You know, British man. Nice arm bar. Links martial arts in the background. We're used to seeing him take a flight, go fly high. Right now, oh my god! Don't know how taking flight is gonna aid you in a match like this. His style has changed to be more combative in close quarters with his hands right now. You see him take down Angron as he just did him. I think, I think that's very smart for the British man, man. You know, those Brits, they don't really have a good brain on their shoulders, but it seems like British man, man is the exception. This is a I mean, you're, you're, you're talking, talking about a good brain on your shoulders when you're real when you're cheering on the American dumbass. You know, very, very uh, interesting choice of words, Mister uh, Mister Agent K. Well, well, above all else, I am a patriot through and through. But you hate Washington D.C. Well, because yeah. the people here are just. I mean, we want me to go down a laundry list of Washington D.C. That in baseball. No, well, baseball, well, baseball is horrible. Uh, we know this to be true. Baseball I love, I love baseball, so I actually my first love. Well, uh, you were a really shitty first love. Glad you, glad you broke up with her, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I assume I mean, that's I, why I you're here. I had to break up with to travel on the goddamn road and so. watch these scoundrels fight every, every um, weekday. Yeah. 
every Friday, Monday, Friday, and Wednesday. Bloody hell. We have to do SmackDown. I have to see those, those rookies again. You know, I have more fun on TNC than I do on SmackDown. Those crazy sons of bitches. Well, that's because you're not scared of any of the talent there. They're just young guys, you know, who like to have fun on the road. Talk smack about anybody on Word Wednesday or, or smacked on AWS. What's up, Magic for See, uh, hang on. This was, I, th I think it's become abundantly clear cool that Warhead Wednesday is the best show on AWS programming. Well, I, I, I certainly do think that, you know, Mondays with Kenny Silver have, uh, the, you know, they have a runner up to being that. But I, I, I do digress. No, 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 but to, to, to each their own, I guess, would be, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're entitled to your incorrect opinion, Agent K. Okay, and you see, I'm just calling it right down the middle, Brandon A. You see. Right, down the, right, down the, right down the middle, right? Not, not, not like Agent A, who uh, refuses to... Uh, yes, yeah, no, not like Agent A, who, who, who lets his bias speak into every single sentence that comes yeah, out of his Agent A, Agent A, I have a... This is the guy who is trends on Twitter every Monday, A, W, F. Every time he calls a fucking Killboy match, he trends because everyone thinks he's a homosexual for him. Don't you think that's a big hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, got, I got a question for you, Agent A. Oh, no. By the British madman. I got a question for you, Agent A. Uh, would you let Mamba Ant put you through a burning table? Because I'm, I'm sure, I mean, that, that because I'm sure no. he would. He, he does so indiscriminately with you. Well, Mamba Ant is our undisputed champ and puts a lot of bad people through burning tables. Sort of like a... I don't know. Shit. It's his mainstay. It's his thing. So what? Some people need a flaming table to get humbled. What happens to the people that he puts through table? Do you ever hear about them afterwards? Exactly. Oh, oh my God. Right on the chin. That was as American as you could get, man. Oh, my God. This is a steal. Just get out of there, man. I'm going to this man, man, to surrender just like he did in 17. 76. Beautiful. 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 We see, we, we, we see, we see Angron, uh, you know, he does, doesn't have enough brain cells to fully execute a proper headlock, so he keeps uh, screwing up and running around like a mad, like a crazy person trying to figure out what to do. Well, I mean, this is a steel cage after all. So this is really the most technical settings. So the, the, Brit the British madman is calculated with his insanity. He's focused. He's honed in. Angron is just a brute. As we see the British man, oh my! Oh my takes him over, over now. Wow, these two. Oh, aggression to stem tech. You know, tried to fight back with a forearm. Nice double leg. You know, that helmet has a lot of power to that punch. You know, a big five. Look at that big man get some hype. You friends are in Washington DC, this is probably the best thing they've ever seen in their lives. But you know you don't get to see a lot. Yeah, they, they, they don't get to see much of uh, considering this current state of Washington DC sports right now, uh, the the poverty wizards. I don't I, I I I frankly don't give two shits about hockey or baseball. And uh, the commanders can't even figure out what the hell they're called, let alone how to make a good football team. So, uh... You know, Jordan Wool is going to break a three like a day after we leave here. Maybe a lot of them. Oh, big boo! J J J Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is about as effective at leading an offense as you, Agent A, are at defending the Antichrist, Mamba Ant. I don't have to the you guys talk about how can you not get behind the, 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 the I, I just I don't get it. You are you telling me you're telling me I'm supposed you telling me I'm supposed to get behind a barbarian like that? A you get behind people like Tim USA, you support people like the British madman, oh my god. Am I supposed to take you? You don't respect champions. You don't respect 
pure talent. You don't respect a no, pure you know, like, the I don't respect I, 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 I need to be clear about something. I don't respect anybody. Titville USA is a bunch of cowardly bitches who hide behind each other like body shields, okay? The Decepticons are a stupid gimmick. There is nobody in the AWF who I treat with respect because nobody has the knowledge Not and the, the acumen outlines. I do. Not the outliers are probably the most in terms of tactics, in terms of intelligence, the the, mo- the best faction I can think of. But CM Loaf, Curtis, Deuce, I don't know, man. Blitz, I'm better than Elma you. And- I'm more than you. There's Madman going up to the top. How do you think <laughs> Mamba and as, as, as a sort of interim outlier with Curtis and so and so on? He's the best outlier yeah, in history. Like, See, the thing is, I respect what Mamba Ann is able to do, but I call him the Antichrist simply because... See, Ken, uh, Agent K calls him the Antichrist because of, uh, you know, the, this vendetta, this deep-seated vendetta, like, you know, this whole... Ve- I just call it because it's funny, frankly. Antichrist is a fun word to say. Sorry. You know what? I respect that. Antichrist well, is a fun word to say. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you this right now. There's, there's a myriad of reasons why to come to the Antichrist. Those of that of which I'm not going to do right now. Don't think I'll think it. Oh my, Angron. Big men are not supposed to stand up like that. They're not supposed to do that. You could have broken the cage there. But yeah, Agent K, don't think I'm ignoring you here. You have a bit of a, you have a, bit of a well, let's, let's call it a meat riding belt. You are well, a five star classic. I recognize yeah. talent when I see it. Kenneth Kilgore is the only man that I cheer for in the commentary booth, but he certainly is the man that I cheer for the most because he has the one thing that is lacking in a lot of these guys, and that is just pure wrestling talent. Technical oh my God, we see Angron and the British Madman at the top of the cage, rattling it out. This is oh the... the oh, my God! Slam the my revolution the Ooh! Oh. Is it be over? Man. No, not that like this. Like, is it be over? The helmet on the cage dumps the body. Madman, not it's like over. this. What madman do? Not man. here. Not it's in over. this place. The British madman. He's the gone. real proper winner. Not when the White House is. Oh my goodness. America, Brits what have we one. done? Can you believe it? What have we done? The Redcoats have come, and Something they have conquered. Me, the leader of the League of Nations, getting the win, is not going to be a one-time thing. We let, we let. This is not going to be a, a, a one-time occasion. Angron is not going to leave this down. We let this shrimp on the Barbie asshole walk into our turf and be our best guy in one-on-one competition. And watch Come on. Nobody cares about Mama and one last 